Hi, I'm meteorologist Katie Blake here with a quick explanation of something that we talk about sometimes in the weather forecast, outflow boundaries. We also call these gust fronts. Outflow boundaries are born from dying thunderstorms. So when we have some thunderstorms, they're rocking along. Eventually they run out of juice. They run out of steam. So what happens as those thunderstorms collapse on themselves, all the air rushes down to the ground. It hits the ground and then moves outward in any given direction. And that is the birth of an outflow boundary. Now, even after the storm that caused this outflow boundary is completely gone, can't see it anymore on radar, this boundary will be able to keep moving and can sustain itself over long distances and for periods of time. Now where outflow boundaries get a little bit tricky, but also fascinating is when there's more than one outflow boundary out there and they run into each other. This acts as a trigger for new thunderstorm development. So this is all just a big cycle. Those two boundaries hit each other. The air rises. We get a new thunderstorm. Eventually that new thunderstorm will weaken, fall apart. That air goes down to the ground and we get yet another outflow boundary. Sometimes you can see outflow boundaries on radar. They'll look like little lines moving around uh, and that can make forecasting a little bit tricky because it can be hard to pinpoint exactly where those boundaries will be and when they will run into each other producing new thunderstorms. Another cool fact about outflow boundaries, they can stay dormant overnight and through the morning hours. But once we get into the afternoon hours and things start to warm up a bit, those outflow boundaries plus the heat of the day can act as the start of another afternoon of thunderstorms.